everyone welcome to today's weekend video update today's friday january 8th hope everybody had a good week of trading and a bullish week it was another week another all-time high in stocks s p hitting over 3800 of course i'm sure you see the headlines about bitcoin hitting all-time highs as well pushing into the 40 plus thousand dollar range so crazy stuff yeah, I talked about this on the day trading session this morning that, you know, we're we're getting into that la-la land type of scenario. But but keep in mind, la-la land can last a long time, too. So just don't don't start loading up on shorts yet. I mean, this thing could continue to push higher and grind higher for into the near future. And that's that's kind of what I anticipate. So we still have short delta a little bit less than one to one on our short delta versus our theta ratio. Uh, but I do anticipate continuation higher if we get if we start to get really extended or we see some type of really big push and kind of what I call a blow off top where we see a big spike in volume on a big extension higher. You know, that's when I'll that's when I'll start considering getting a little bit more short. But right now I'm going to keep my position pretty neutral and, you know, continue to add some bullish plays in here to take advantage of uh, some anticipation of higher prices. So. That is the plan. Uh, before we jump into the alerts, just want to show you uh, day trading for this week. Uh, the Mighty 90 ended up strong today for plus 1350 on the day, but ended up minus 507 on that strategy for the week. Took a couple big losses on Monday in NVIDIA and Roku on Wednesday. I uh, really didn't trade those uh, trade those bad. They just made moves that, that got us. The bad guys won that time. So uh, a little red in the Mighty 90 this week. You only took one pairs trade, uh, and that was today. Took a $300 loss on a NASDAQ Dow pairs trade. And then the runners, uh, plus 964 for the week. You can see uh, a little back and forth. This was uh, this week was actually fairly challenging from a uh, from a from a trade standpoint. I had uh, you know big big loss on Monday, and then a big win on Tuesday. Loss on Wednesday. Win on Thursday. Win on Friday. So we ended up we ended up green uh, on the week only barely $157 green on the week. But it was a pretty challenging week. And so if you can come out positive or break even on something like that, you're doing just fine because you're going to have those. Uh, now going back to August 31st, when we started tracking this up 6500 on the mighty 90. Haven't been doing many pairs trades, but 323 on the pairs and up a little over 29,000 on the runners. So total since August 31st, almost 36,000. So Day trading continues to do well, and we'll continue to uh, do that. We've got the runner strategy class coming up towards the end of this month. I'll be posting dates, but you can put it on your calendar to save right now. Uh, January 28th, 4 p.m. Central Time is when we'll be doing the runner strategy class. And speaking of upcoming events, uh, I'll be posting this as well, but we are going to have a special event this coming Tuesday at 4 p.m., Tuesday, January 12th. At, uh, at at 4 p.m. Central Time, uh, Tim Weiss. So he's a he's a gentleman who had been a member of Navigation Trading for a couple years, and um, and then kind of went off on his own, was doing his own thing. He used to post a lot in the community updates on uh, kind of a, a a variation of one of the strategies that we teach, and he kind of refined it, made it his uh, made it his own, did a ton of back testing, forward testing, all kinds of testing, and. Uh, and caught it, called it the red strategy, revised and enhanced double diagonal strategy. And so Tim is back. He missed us. And so he's going to be joining us. In fact, it's going to be kind of, the format for Tuesday's event is going to be kind of an interview slash presentation from Tim about his journey, his background in trading, uh, how he how he came to develop and, and tweak and, and, and modify the red strategy and how he made a 248 percent return in 2020 on his entire account trading exclusively the red strategy. So uh, you don't want to miss it. It's going to be a, an awesome, awesome, awesome event. So uh, mark your calendar 4 p.m. Central on this Tuesday, the 12th. Uh, and I'll be sending out a link to uh, to sign up to save your spot on that. So look forward to that uh, this coming Tuesday. All right. With that, let's jump into the alerts, starting with Monday. Uh, first trade was an opening iron duck in SPX. Did this one with 16 days to expiration. And so let's go to SPX. Uh, we actually took off a couple of ducks this week, uh, one of which expired. 
uh, this one here. Oh no, that was we had we had one, anyway. Well, let's just go with this one that I just just mentioned. So this was the one with 16 days to expiration. So you can see price has run up since we put that on on Monday. So we're almost maxed out on our beak there, but we still have a decent chance of getting back to the duck head. Not that much actually now. Oh no, not at all. Only about 11 percent. Uh, but we'll, so we'll close this out most likely on Monday if price stays right here or goes higher. Uh, while we're here, let's take a look at what, what else we got in SPX and that is a weekly double calendar. So this one's up about 200 bucks since we put it on and we'll be managing that towards the end of next week. Next trade was Tesla closing trade. We had an iron duck in Tesla. Obviously Tesla has been on fire to the upside. So we just closed this out early, booked beak profit on that trade. Uh, Natty Gas, uh, we did a rolling trade on this. This is our short strangle that we've been adjusting. Uh, rolled this, got down to 21 days to expiration. So we just extended duration, rolled it out to 49 days, kept the strikes the same. And I mentioned here, if price stays in a range over this next cycle, uh, we're gonna be profitable, working our way back to profitability after several adjustments and, and, uh, and rolls. And so you can see we're up about $260 since, uh, since we did this roll. And so if we can just, if we can get Natty Gas to stay in this range here and, and book another, um, I don't remember exactly what we need, but uh, if, uh, if, we, if we book a decent profit on this, uh, we'll be back to profit in Natty Gas. Next trade, rolling adjusting trade in ZB. We are really close to closing this out. In fact, uh, we were right at 22 days to expiration last Friday. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it over the weekend. And unfortunately, the bottom fell out of bond. They've kind of dropped. So we ended up just rolling it with 17 days, roll it out to 45 days. We're going to give it one more cycle, see if we can get a little bit of a bounce in bonds. Uh, extended duration there. So uh, let's take a look at bonds. You can see it was price was hanging out about right here, and it's come all the way down here. Now it's pushed through our break even, but remember after we roll, that doesn't really matter. I mean, we still got a, a decent amount of premium in our calls, but if price does keep going lower, we will roll down those calls closer and then just continue to manage this like we always do with our short strangles. SPX weekly double calendar, that's the one that I just showed you. Uh, opening trade in SPY, we did a vertigo. So this was our, we did our vertigo uh, strategy class not too long ago. So this is our second vertigo since the class. And take a look at this. I mean, this is this is kind of the cool thing that can happen with these trades uh, with the skew between the back back week and the front week implied volatility. But this thing is just barely out of the range, but but we're already up, you know, 300 bucks on the trade. Now I saw it when it was up about 200. Uh, this this kind of really just pumped up right at the end of the, uh, right towards the bell. Uh, so had, it, had this happened earlier, I probably, probably just, would have just closed this or we've got five contracts. I could have closed some of it, but, uh, if, if price does continue higher in the next week, we'll probably book this pretty, pretty early next week. If we can originally in the trade, I said, if we could book 450, but I mean, if it's up to 350, 375 on Monday, I may just close it out. If not, I'll close out, uh, some of these contracts and just take that money and run. So nice, uh, nice vertigo and spy. Next trade, SPX. This is one of our iron ducks that expired. We booked beak profit on that one. Uh, SPY Vertigo, we had a different one that we closed out and booked a nice little profit on that one. Uh, John Deere did a rolling trade here, just extending duration, keeping this as part of our short delta in our portfolio. Rolled this from January out to February. John Deere has just been on absolute fire. If we take a look at uh, DE, I mean, this thing, I uh, just exploded this week, which is not what we're looking for, but uh, still holding that for short delta. And, you know, we're up about 75 bucks since we did this roll. So we'll just continue to hold that and uh, look for some potential downside here in the future. Baidu closing adjusting trade. So we, ha we had an iron condor on. We closed out the put vertical side when price ran higher and broke through our break even. We held on to the short call vertical. And so that's what this was here. We just closed out that remaining short call vertical. Now we've also got our uh, a full iron condor in February. And so let's take a look at that one. That's Baba, Baidu. Baidu up another 15% today. So we already have a, another full iron condor uh, out in February. You can see it's still well within range here. Uh, but but uh, Baidu is just having some explosive growth after being uh, after talking about getting into the electric vehicle market, uh, the stock has just continued to continue to take off. 
uh, we did we did capture a good portion of this with a diagonal held our, our last piece all the way through this and closed the rest of that out today uh, total risk on that trade total buying power is just over three hundred dollars we ended up booking over six hundred dollars in profit on that on the diagonal which uh, which I'll get to in this alert here yeah long call diagonal so we'd taken off one contract uh, last week so we booked half of it last week and then held this other half till today and then close that out. So all in all, $620 profit on that diagonal trade. Uh, ES long put vertical. So this is one of our short delta plays uh, that we've been holding for that short delta. So we just extended duration on that. Uh, price moved up a little bit since we since we rolled that today. Uh, so we're just looking for some downside to benefit uh, that piece. Closing trade in a weekly double calendar. So this one expired today. It, it was hanging out right on our break even. You know, you got this tent and it was just hanging out right on our break even here uh, almost all day. And we got a little bit of weakness back in and we closed it out, booked a profit, which is a good thing we did because price ran back up and uh, we would have taken a loss on the trade, but ended up booking about, I think it was $120. So small winner, but winner nonetheless. And then lastly, SPX, we closed out another iron duck. Uh, it was, there was very little chance of getting back to the duck head, so we just booked beak profit, took it off early instead of holding it all the way out uh, until January 13th. So that is all the alerts. Let's take a look at some of our other positions. Uh, Apple, we've got this on for a short delta. This is in January, so we'll be rolling this next week. Uh, we've got this one in Baba. I already, uh, no, I didn't mention. So we've got an iron condor in Baba, pretty pretty well centered. Just waiting for some implied volatility contraction. Uh, I mentioned Baidu. I mentioned DE DIA. Another one of our short delta plays. This is a short call vertical. This one's already out in Feb, so not looking to roll this one. Just but just holding this for some potential downside. Uh, same with IWM. This one's in January, but this one's way out of range. So we'll be rolling this next week. I figured I'd just give this one. I didn't want to roll all of our short delta plays all on the same day. So just kind of spreading out those rolls, but we'll roll this one next week. And same with QQQ. SMH, we've got a short strangle here that we've been managing. Price is hanging out right here in the upper end of the region. Uh, so could use a little bit of down move to get back to center. I mentioned SPX, I mentioned SPY, and lastly, XLK, another short delta piece that uh, price has run out, run up to the, well, XLK is not as bad as the others. It's not even at all time highs. It's just below it. So uh, we will roll that next week as well. So those are all the alerts. Those are all the trades. Don't forget uh, Tim Weiss, A Trader's Journey on Tuesday, 4 p.m. Central Time. Look for that to sign up. You don't want to miss it. Uh, he's going to be sharing his strategy and how he got there. So look forward to that. Everybody have a fantastic weekend and we will see you next week. Cheers.